Very good morning. We will close this discussion in Matthew 16, 17. Our heading, Spiritual Eyes Open. We read in the scripture that when these wise men saw the young child, they fell down and worshipped him. Other people might have come in and see the child and say, many children are as interesting as this poor woman's baby. But as these men looked, they saw all eyes are not so blessed. Eyes that are opened is a gift from the all-seeing one. Carnal eyes are blind, but these men saw the infinite in the infant. The God at gleaming through the manhood, the glory hiding beneath the swaddling cloths. First, undoubtedly there was a spiritual splendor about this matchless child. We read that Moses' mother and father saw that he was a godly child, a goodly child rather. They saw he was fair unto God, says the original Hebrew. But when these elect men saw this holy baby, which is called the Son of the Highest, they discovered in him a glory all unknown before. Then was his star in the ascent to them. He became their all and in all, and they worshipped with all their hearts. Have you discovered such glory in Christ? Second, who oh, oh, says one, you are always harping, preaching only upon Christ and his glory. You are a man of one idea. Precisely so. My one idea is that he is altogether lovingly, and that there is nothing out of heaven nor in heaven that can be compared with him even in his lowest and weakest estate. Have you ever seen as much as that in Jesus? If so, you are the Lord's. You go and rejoice in him. If not, pray God to open your eyes until, like the wise men, you see and worship him. Lastly, learn from these wise men that when they worship, they did not permit it to be a mere empty-handed adoration. Ask yourself, what shall I render to the Lord? Bowing before the young child, they offered gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Application. There is nothing in the true believer's power which he would not do for the Lord, nothing in our substance which we would not give him, nothing in ourselves which we would not devote to his service. And I pray, Holy Father, someone once said, if he has not all of us, we, he has not us at all. In Jesus' name, help us, Father. Amen.